You tricked me, CW, to not believe you would admit not have made a Spider-Man reference in this episode of Katie Clean. Greatly disappointed in you. Oh, hey everyone, Joe here from Action X. Welcome to What's on the Tube, or welcome back if this is your seventh Katie Clean chapter review for you today. I apologize if once again I am late. Like I always am like this. It's been crazy. It's been a very crazy couple of days. Um schedules keep keep having to change. Um things have uh, moved around in my life, um, both because of, yes, the coronavirus panic, um, pandemic, um, my personal life always being adjusted because of the, of the changes and announcements being made by my workplace and my um, city that I live in. I live in New York City, so we're currently being hit pretty hard with the virus, um, but all is right here on in my house for now. Hopefully things will continue to be all right um, throughout the remaining of this um, this issue. Anywho, so, with that being said, um, there's going to be an update video on, the, on you stay the channel coming out very soon. Um, I'll talk about all that, um, what that's going to mean going forward for the channel. Um, so stay tuned for that. That will be posting hopefully very, very soon. Um, I have to edit it. So, um, take that away, green salt. Anyway, I apologize for speaking a little low. Uh, it's a little late here in my house. Um, so, um, before I continue, um, so the Katie Clean review, the reason why I work, this is I've been my... Latest excuse for this one going out um, later than it's usually being posted. Um, my um, and I'll I'll speak more of this on the um, the the slate, the slate of the channel. Um, my current job that I work at um, is one of the few industries that are still going to be remaining open during the lockdown. Um, so I still have to work. So th just because I my city is currently under um, lockdown, well, it's going to be under lockdown following this episode's release. It does not mean for me I'm not going to be working. I'm still going to be working. So my uh, my, my life isn't changing. Um, school is turned online. So And that does mean that things are still going to be as business as usual for me um, with this sort of thing. But however, I work on Fridays now. And usually my Katie Clean episode reviews, um, I tend to um, watch the episode on Friday because I work on Thursday nights. And I'm usually exhausted by that point, so I tend not to. Um, watch it till Friday morning, go to work, record the video, um, then, and then upload it by Saturday. That's usually what I've been trying to aim for, but I haven't been able to keep that up consistently. Um, so now that I'm working on Fridays, it doesn't doesn't really um, help out much. It doesn't really. But um, I'm doing what I can, um, so the Katie Clean chapter reviews will proceed forward. I do not believe we're being affected at all, because these episodes were shot before... Everything happened, so I think we're going for the full run of the first season. Uninterrupted? No, I could be wrong because there's some inconsistent, there's some, some inconsistent um, reports because um, before Katie Clint premiered, it was now the CW had picked up the show for 13 episodes, 13 additional scripts. So that means 13 more episodes, but it didn't clarify it was part of the first season or that was an unconfirmed season two renewal. Uh, but also Lucy Hale, the star of the show, um, had commented that before the series premiere aired that she actually wrapped the season finale or the finale of the current um, season um, literally the night before. So um, does that mean, is it only 13 episodes? Is it 16? I really, I really don't know. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. But the point is, Katie Clean, I think, will probably not be affected at all um, by the coronavirus panic. It will probably continue airing until the conclusion of the season. And hopefully it will return for season two. But enough of all that. Sorry about all the... All the, all the down talking. Also, I apologize if I'm not as my usual self because I don't know the camera plays games with me all the time, and I, I should have really found a better. Error. Anyway, so overall, false base fraud on this <clears throat> musical themed episode of Katie Lane. Um, I dig it. I don't necessarily believe it's the best episode the show's produced. I'm being honest with myself. Like I, I still enjoy the episode. And um, again, like I said, like I said, this with every single episode of any one of my show, this is progressing characters. This is developing new developments, like um, developments for our respective um, Golden Girls. We're getting little little footsteps, uh, but you know we're not getting like the big footsteps anymore, considering the fact that. Um, making your dreams happen in New York City isn't exactly an overnight experience. We're going to go for some big big, um, big steps, some small steps. This was another one of those small steps, but in a big way. And that cliffhanger definitely um, leaves me a little bit worrisome of how the show's going to proceed in the future. But 
Um, we'll get there as we go through the very butchered recap because I, I watched the, this episode um, yesterday morning. I'm recording this the next thing, then, so my memory is crap because I went through two shifts of work. I went through watching Westworld season three premiere. I went through um, resuming my backlog um, and just a bunch of other stuff that I'll explain on another show. Um, but yeah, so. Um, let's, so let's begin. So we're going to pick up immediately where the last chapter left off. So Katie is in the middle of deciding a pretty important step in her career as she has been offered to decide the royal wedding dress for the prince of uh, the prince's fiance. Which um, by the last chapter they were actually broken up, and the prince and Katie hooked up, and now they're back together. And Katie's being asked by the fiance, "Can you design my dress?" So for Katie, it's a whole big bag of emotion. And the answer is no. So, actually, I was actually pretty surprised because usually when people are in those situations, um, they tend to, um, they tend to actually be more, um, more like, okay, I'll do it, but I'm going to be very conflicted and we're going we're to go through this entire process, you know, getting, getting this issue um, handled with. Um, Katie says no flat out. Instead of admitting to the troop, she says that oh Jorge has this uh, one woman show he's she's planning on he's planning on doing, and she is already um, scheduled to do that. Or I think it was some other excuse. I, I think um, no, yeah, it was right. No, she just said no. She just said no. She didn't really give a clarification answer. So everyone leaves. Um, she talks to Gloria at, um, independently, and she. Admits that that she's going to be um, doing this big production play and that requires all of her attention. Gloria's not entirely believing her, um, so that kind of is left alone for a while. We I think we cut back to. Um, I think we this is Jorge's part where she he's at the. He's at the club I believe starting to rehearse. I think we're up to that point yet. Yeah, Francois is obviously mentoring him um, for the drag queen world as. I presume I mean, he was a drag queen at one point because it, it just makes too much sense. There was just a coincidence with the last chapter. Um, meanwhile, Pepper's trying to help him out, trying to get some funding going. <clears throat> you know, Pepper. You know, Pepper's hopefully going to make this the first big production for her um, company for for a big um, venue. Uh, obviously, in the last episode, we figured out that she had hired a the receptionist for the hotel that she was staying at, as well as you know also banging on the side. So. Um, she's trying to find some business there. So she's trying to get a little like demo performance to attract some investors. She has Josie to bring in um, Alex because she he is um, he, he is like he's got money so he could potentially help fund some things getting that going um, under the way. Um, Josie tells Alex, I think it's all fine, I believe. I don't remember exactly no 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 so Alex no Josie is more has it on the idea, I think from there, jo yeah, so I think there was a connection scene where Alex does show up to Josie's, up to the apartment, um, they have a little talk because Josie's not entirely happy that even after the EP party's release, there's no like calls, there's no like big offers coming in for her, you know, she, and that's the thing about Josie, the, the one thing I don't like about Josie's character, and I'm being completely honest, is that She's very well aware that, yes, it is very difficult to break into the music scene, especially if you're doing it in New York City. It is especially hard. But I feel like by a certain point, it's like, I mean, it could be just because she's she's being told information, and then when it's not happening, she just tends to be more disappointed as time goes on. Um, for this case, she was told that, uh, she always said, okay, this this next step is going to be it. I'm going to reach the big top. I'm going to get the, you know, get the, get the, get the Get the big music deals, get all that going, and it doesn't happen. And no surprise, it, it, it doesn't. Um, after the EP release, which I don't, I don't understand how that was supposed to necessarily generate buzz. But again, I know nothing about the music industry. I don't know how that works, and I need someone very, very more skilled to explain that to me, which is not the case. Um, but Alex does bring some glimmer of good news that someone is interested in her booking at the Apollo Theater. Which um, I vaguely know what the Apollo Theater is. Um, however, she wants the promoter wants Josie to do three shows at separate venues at separate times to kind of prove that she's worthy enough to perform at such a big venue. So she got a big opportunity, but she got a lot of other smaller opportunity. But she still needs to work her way there. Um, that's where I think also Josie drops that hey, um, Jorge is doing this 
demo for this one moment show. It would be great if you come and potentially, you know, take a look and see if you want to invest. I believe from there, you know, and, and I, I know we got a scene. No, I think Katie did design the dress already, which is kind of weird on time because I know Jorge made this announcement, you know, before, but when exactly they have time? When did Katie have the time to design this dress? I mean, I know Katie's a, a fashion whiz, but I highly doubt she was able to design a dress in one night. Like, like such an, an elaborate, elaborate dress like that, that. I, 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 I don't know, know. I could be wrong. Um, I, I think, think we're missing a couple of scenes, scenes here, I'm pretty sure. sure. Um, but we, let's, let's, let's just cut to the pepper plan. plan. Everyone's, Everyone's there, some big shot investors. Like, like pretty much every character in Katie Clean by this point is there, including a couple of obvious ones. Teo's there, he and Katie have a very weird, kind of awkward, like, catching up session. Obviously, Katie can't tell him about the whole hookup thing because that's still a little bit recent. Xander is a bit on borderline between. This is a bodyguard? Is this a boyfriend? Is this like, that's what she's trying to play around? She's just being an annoying prick. Like, she always, she's always is. Um, Jorge performs his demo. For me personally, it's pretty good, but then every, all the investors are like, nope, nope, you know what? I'm out. So that only leaves the core people there. So Jorge's kind of a little bit bummed out that, you know, no one's interested. Um, we cut to the next day. Jorge's having a meeting with um, Francois. And Pepper, 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 Pepper does break, break the bad news so that no one is interested, interested except for the Capets, because she was able to trick Alex and Xander's current feud to kind of get them to both put in some money into the production. Uh, so, that so that was kind of pretty, pretty funny. funny. However, However, the agreement that Alex had was that Josie has to be the Spider Queen as, as an opportunity to kind of get her um, put into the Apollo. Hori's not down with it, considering the fact this was his show, this was his time to shine. And he doesn't, no matter how much he loves Josie, she, he doesn't want to share the spotlight on this crucial moment of his career. But Pepper convinces him to allow this because, you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices for your career, which is um, definitely true. And so, yeah, I think from there, we get a little bit of a pause break um, because we come back to Gloria and Katie. Apparently, the Gloria's assistant goes to the demo from last night where she, she discovers that it is not for a Broadway for production, it is for um, a small off-off-off-Broadway uh, performance of Kiss of the Spider Queen. And Gloria's not entirely happy, but then she deduces the She manages to get the truth out of Katie that, um, you know, that Katie was actually, she actually did sleep with Prince the night before. Um, but even though Gloria's still like, hey, listen, do you have the opportunity of a lifetime here to design a wedding dress that's going to be seen by the royals? You are going to potentially stunt, stink your career if you do not take this dress. But obviously, Katie, being a logistical human being, it's morally unjust for, hey, I banged your fiancé, and I'm also going to design the dress you're going to marry to set fiancé. That's something that I understand completely. Well, I don't understand completely, but I understand to the point, like, I understand why Katie is being like this, because it is a very tricky situation to balance. Uh, now that I remember, there was a scene before this where she and the prince talk, where the prince is like, listen, I really don't want to marry her, but um, the royal consultants tell me if you stop with this um, engagement, you are going to tarnish your reputation, you're going to put bad, a bad image to the royal family, you are not going to recover from this, so pretty much you have to go for the wedding. Uh, but he says, like, I want to be with you, you're, I want to be with you. You're lying. You don't. You don't. You're not saying that's not the truth. You the sort of the sort of thing. But Katie's not buying it. That was from before. Um, but eventually, Katie does agree to make the dress. Um, I forgot why she agreed. I think it was maybe because she something happened. I really I don't remember. Um, but we do cut back to. No, we have a, we have a small. We're getting a lot of musical scenes throughout the spread. I think the next one we see was. Um, we, we go, go back, back to the, the apartment, apartment and Katie is with Jorge. Jorge is not entirely happy with um, with with, with, with Josie being, being the Spider Queen, Queen. but Katie decides to take him to take him back to Lacey's, get a little like motivational, motivational dance number, speaking, speaking with Francois. Francois. That, that, that's, that's enough, enough to at least have Jorge be convinced this can happen. happen. Um, back, back at the Pepper, Pepper plan, plan, Pepper is comparing, comparing finances with her assistant. It's not looking so well. It really isn't because apparently there's more money. Um, um, to, to be spent, spend that, that money, money coming, coming in, in to, to be able to afford certain, certain things, thing, which still baffles me how um, Pepper, Pepper's, Pepper's taking, taking a lot of risks. She really is. Like, 
it was bad enough, enough that she could barely afford to stay afloat, but she also now has to, she employed another being just to avoid jail time, time. but it, it could be a worse scenario. scenario. Um, but, but they, they break, break the song, song. as That's Pepper, Pepper has, has also agreed, agreed to mention her, her in the ways of Pepper's line. And I fade to share a kiss, probably to beg or something, I really don't know. From there, we cut we cut back to Moxie's. Jorge is watching um, Josie perform, and while she does, she's doing phenomenally. Obviously, George, George, um, Jorge is not entirely down for this, considering the fact this was his show. She's taking the spotlight. It's a bit of a fine balance to, you know, a lot, like to balance so many, you know, different things and issues like that. And I think we cut to Katie. Yeah, yeah, so, no, no there, there was, was a scene with that. that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very sorry this is an even, even more butchered butch recap than before, considering that uh, uh, my brain is going all over the place. Because I, I think we got, we got an earlier scene with Katie, Katie is talking to Jorge before, before the other dance, dance number, number, where she's, she's like, like, she's torn on like, how do I get her to, you know, drop me as a wedding designer, not tarnish my reputation, and also be able to still keep my morals. And she manages to design a... Dress that, that is very, very simple, simple, but, uh, but like considering the fact that, um, I think her name is Patricia, Patricia and then I'm remembering, um, um, she is very much liking, liking the simple stuff, because considering the fact she's, she's this is a royal wedding, she wants some more royal stuff, stuff which, which again, again for, for me personally, I don't really know what the hell royal stuff is, does it mean more diamonds, does it mean more gold, I don't know, I'm not a royal, but still. Got it, Lefty. Um... Uh, Joe, uh, we, cut we cut to a little later, Katie's still, still at the office. office. She gets a, a flower delivery from the prince, prince but she ignores it. She's trying to, you know, put that away. I think from there, we get to... I, from from what I'm remembering, Joseph doesn't really play much of a big role besides the Spider Queen stuff this episode. Um, I want to see if we get to Katie and Gloria again. No, Katie's talking to Francois. And Francois, Francois is, is giving her a different set of advice about how, even with this current situation, it's still not, not more. It's, not, it's still it's it's still another tricky line to balance with the whole thing going on. Um, but then Katie gets to the bright idea. Hey, wait a minute! We have another designer at least. Remember that guy who looks like Satan from Sabrina? Because apparently, um, the Riverdale cast and the whole Riverdale verse can't keep their actors together. I mean. Okay, okay let, me, let me let me take a brief pause here. here. So, so the, the guy, guy the creator who creates Riverdale, Riverdale Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and now Katie Clean, he, he runs, runs all these shows. shows. Um, if, if they're, they're all in the same universe, universe which, which I understand they're all totally different, different like yes, they are in the same universe. That's the, that's, that's all been established. established. My, My one problem is that when you're casting multiple actors in the same in like different when you're casting the same actor in different roles, you're kind of a continuity, continuity issue since the fact that like, okay, okay so, so we, we have, have to accept, accept there's two people with this face so there's so in this case there's a this guy he looks like the devil and he also looks like this designer like it's just a lot of like, is it something i really can you know comprehend a lot um so we yeah so yeah so katie comes to him because we haven't seen him in a while i think we haven't seen him in a few episodes Kay wants, wants him, him to design, design the dress and kind of trick Patricia. Patricia. So it's like, okay, okay she, she thinks it's designed by Katie, so she loves it, but then once she realizes um, that she's able to create a, a, a right, righteous ploy to kind of get out of the situation and is able to move on. And it works. That That's settled. Katie takes to the, the designer who looks the same thing, the designer um, to, the, to the play. Jorge and Josie do a pretty phenomenal job with that whole performance. Um, also, Clever to note is that Jorge, now that he's more established with his mom, he wants to kind of like lean in towards his dad in terms of his approval. And um, so his dad's there, and he's impressed with the whole performance. Um, trick, trick switch in the scenes where Josie becomes. He was like, I don't know about the play. I don't know. I know, I know the Spider Queen, but that's all I know about. Well, I know the Spider Queen from the Billy Mandy, but I don't know this um, whole play business. I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a Broadway play guy. I'm not. Okay, um, Jorge, so that goes well. Everyone's impressed. We get a little bit of an inkling of an issue coming down the line between Jorge and his, and his dad because his dad was like, cool, great performance, but 
you can take off that makeup now, my son. Um, and then Jorge's boyfriend, the firefighter, shows up and says, no, you know what, you're good, don't change, you're perfect as, uh, as you are. So it's, gonna, it's creating a bit of an issue, so to speak. Um, how will that be resolved? I don't know. Um, Joe's managed to get booked to the Apollo, I believe, I think that goes through. And I don't, I don't believe, believe we end on a cliffhanger. No, we only do it on a cliffhanger where Jorge is still in the ginger um, dress, is with um, the firefighter. They're walking down the street. And another um, offhand remark we, we um, heard early in the episode that I forgot to say is that Jorge's mom does mention that, hey, there's been an increase of act, uh, violence in the neighborhood um, related to um, the, I think, drag queens or, you know, um, people of that nature. They're being targeted, um, and then I, and Jorge is the one now being targeted, and we're going to end with um, four gang members surrounding them, and we don't know what's going to happen. And that kind of wraps up the chapter for this one. It kind of, like, a lighthearted chapter that ends in a very suspenseful-ish note. And, yeah, again, overall, I still think this episode, I don't think it's the best episode. As a musical episode, I think they succeeded on that front. It's, it's just, just something, something was missing. I I, 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 I don't know. Like I can't explain. Like I, I, I dig this episode. I enjoyed it, but I didn't really like it. I don't know why. I can't really think about. It. Again, it takes more time for me to like. I need to process my information. Um, but still, I like Katie was able to get out of the situation. But considering the fact that the royal is showing up constantly, I still think this is not over yet. We're gonna get some sort of like headbutt with this. Um, Jorge's. Making Make small movements towards his mo dream. And, and that's, that's great. great. And, and Josie and Pepper were like minor steps this week. Again, not, not every episode have, have to be major steps toward their dream. dream. We, we can, can take some couple minor steps, steps along the way. And again, one and a half thumbs up. That's so kind of a first for me to do. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, I, think I think that's going to do for me, guys. Again, I apologize. This is a very butchered recap. Normal, Normal than usual. Hopefully next, next week, week, next time, we'll be more um, um, solidified. And, and that's going to do it for me. So, uh, again, guys, once again, thank, thank you guys so much for watching um, this edition of What's on the Tube. If you want to know what's coming up overall on What's on the Tube, hopefully speaking, we still do the rookie episode reviews every single Monday after a new broadcast on Sunday nights on ABC. Uh, we normally do Nancy Drew episode reviews, but they're currently on there. Hopefully, hopefully, barring nothing's happening in, with the coronavirus thing. Um, the uh, on their, on their last, last break before the last batch of Nancy Drew episodes that will wrap up the first season. season. But uh, so that's so on break till April, so we don't have anything on that. But if you only care about Katie Clean, we have new episode reviews usually every Saturday, barring any delays after its new episode um, airing on the CW on Thursday nights. Um, bit of a note on any one offs to kind of fill in the Wednesday time slot. Um, this, this won't be, be for, for a while, while but it's going to come up. up. Um, I do my hair. I talk, talk about my hair academia a lot. I will be reviewing the second half of season four because, because there's a lot of arcs in season four of uh, my hair academia. academia. There's the remedial course arc, the, the cultural, cultural festival arc, arc and brief parts of the, of the pro hero arc. So, so instead of doing three separate reviews, I'm going to do one big review when that wraps up. I'm going to hopefully say before... Nancy, Nancy Drew comes, comes back. back. I, I didn't really check the calendar. calendar. I know I that's, that's happening. happening. Um, um, in, in terms, terms of one-offs, I am going to be able to do in the near future just, just to kind of get, get the get the hype levels going. Let's build some hype. Let's build some hype. Let's build some some hype, hype this. Um, so, so what I'm going to do is that I'm currently watching a lot of shows. I just got Hulu. There's two things. There's two installments I'm going to do. One is for Big Time Rush. That's going to make a lot of sense in a future episode of Game Clean. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm, I'm also, also going to be doing, doing a Game, Game of Thrones up, up to now. What's like conclude season six? I am almost almost there to ending season six. six. I'm not there yet. It's, it's taken me a long time. It's a slow burn because um, limitations in my schedule. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that will be it. Uh, that's it for now. I'll update you more as we continue through um, things. But until then, uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. This was what's on the two from Action X. If you want to know what's Oh, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really um, stuck in my brain right now. Um, if you want to see more of what's on the two, please subscribe to Action X on YouTube. Um, ring the bell for notifications when we have a new episode live review. That did not come out so well. I got it really off my A game right now. Um, like, favorite, share this review if you please. And 
Follow us on all the social media feeds. And again, um, everyone stay safe out there during this very um, difficult time period. And hopefully we'll make it through together. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay safe. Peace out.